Emotional testimony today as the wife of Santa Cruz County rancher George Allen Kelly takes the stand in his murder trial. He's charged with the shooting death of a migrant, Gabrielle Butamea, early last year. A 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace joins us live with how Wanda Kelly responded to questions from both prosecutors and defense. J.D. Well, prosecutors have focused on Wanda Kelly's inconsistent answers while the defense has reminded the jury that she was under stress the day that her husband would find Buitamea's body on their ranch. Wanda Kelly has been married to George Allen Kelly, who goes by Allen, not George, more than 50 years. On January 30th, 2023, he was standing in the kitchen at the bar eating a sandwich, and she was standing in the living room petting her cat when he told her to be quiet and that he heard a shot. She called Border Patrol, gave him the phone as he stood on the east patio with his AK-47, and she went into the living room between the two windows and heard gunfire close enough to be Allen Kelly firing the AK-47. She says she heard five or six shots, but the chief deputy attorney, Kim Hunley, says Wanda Kelly told deputies that day she heard four shots and that she saw five men that day instead of the two men she was testifying to seeing today. Wanda Kelly says she can't remember everything she said, nor should she after the stress she faced during the shooting and seeing her husband arrested. Sweetheart, I could have told him the sky was purple that night. I'm sorry. I was all messed up. What is going through you right at this moment that you're standing in front of these of the TV? Praying, fearful. Now you know there's been a gunshot according to Ellen and what you heard. You saw two people with guns. And this is real right now. Correct? Correct. And you are scared. I am scared. This was too close to the house. It's too close to the house. And my, Alan's always been my protector, and so I was so afraid for him. We could see Wanda Kelly on the stand again tomorrow because the prosecution has yet to come back in its redirect. And court uh, recessed early today because the attorneys are visiting the ranch in order to prepare for a possible jury visit to the scene. Reporting live in Nogales, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.